Hey everyone and welcome to the show. On this episode, Jesse is going to show you how to install a Burley brand sissy bar on the Sportster 48. Let's look at the parts and tools you'll need to complete this job. The first thing you'll need is the Burley brand short sissy bar, a 3 16 hex bit socket, a flathead screwdriver, some Loctite thread locker, a half inch wrench, and finally a foot pounds torque wrench. Start by using the flathead screwdriver to remove the lens cover from the rear tail lights. Push in and turn to remove the bulbs. With the tail light out of the way, you can now remove the stock fender mounting bolts. Be sure to save the index flange nuts as they will be reused later. Using the half inch wrench to secure the nut, remove the front mounting bolts. Save all hardware for later. Apply a small amount of Loctite to the threads of the index flange nuts removed from earlier. Install the sissy bar by running the supplied shorter bolts through the rear holes of the sissy bar, then through the stock washers, then rearward holes of the fender struts, the fender, inner fender support, and thread them into the index stock nut. Do not tighten them at this time. Using the longer supplied bolts, mount the front of the sissy bar in the same manner as the rear. Apply some blue Loctite to the threads of the stock nut. Using the half inch wrench to hold the nut, tighten the bolt to 18 foot pounds. Making sure the stocked index rear nuts have their flange back in their intended slots, torque the rear bolts to 18 foot pounds. Well, that about wraps up this episode. Join me in the next one where we'll be wrapping the exhaust pipe to the Sportster 48. As always, thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, subscribe to our page.